Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. It is me Desiree and today I wanted to talk about some products I love but I'm not going to repurchase. Either once it runs out I'm not going to buy it again or once it goes bad or dries up I'm not going to buy it again. Uh, a couple of these, you know, various different reasons but I thought I would share why I love the product and why I'm not going to buy it again. And a couple of these actually feel funny even recommending anymore so yeah let's just talk about them. So the thing that made me want to do this video is this foundation. It does happen to be the one I have on today, although I wore it all day, I had a mask on, it doesn't look so fresh now, but I will do a video on this uh, this month. It's the Physicians Formula Butter Believe It Foundation and Concealer. This foundation is freaking amazing. I love it so much. The coverage is great. It looks like skin. It doesn't look like makeup. It doesn't wear heavy. It doesn't settle into fine lines. It's so good. Um, it does have a weird smell. It smells like butter, like not the butter bronzer smell that they have, but like actual butter from the refrigerator. Like it's kind of weird, um, but it goes away pretty quickly after you blend it on your face. You don't smell it anymore. Uh, I, I have nothing bad to say about this foundation, but the reason I will not repurchase, and this is one of those things I feel weir weird um, even recommending, the shade range. There's four shades? Four or was there five shades? There's four or five shades, and all of them look just like this one. I could easily have used all of these, um, and I, f like why? Why would they put out such an amazing product? This is so good. Uh, and only have four or five shades and I even went onto the website because I was like well sometimes you know when you're at the store Maybelline has this huge section but Almay has like one foot of makeup like that's all they get to work with so I thought maybe they didn't have the space to put all the shades I went to the website they only have a few shades um, and I think that's absolutely crazy so Physicians Formula in general is one of those brands that I always want to like and I used to really like and every now and then something of theirs really catches my interest and I'll purchase it like this foundation Foundation, but then they do something like that where they they put out only a couple shades and they put it for all skin types And I'm like not everyone can use it like the majority of people are not going to be able to use one of your five shades, so I Love this. I will do a video on it um, Later this month, you know demoing it and talking about why I love it so much But I'm, and I'm gonna feel really funny even recommending it because there's only four shades five shades either way It's not enough and I don't expect every brand to put out 40 50 shades I don't think it's about the amount of shades. It's the range of shades So if you're putting out 50 shades But all of them are either on the lighter spectrum or in the middle or on the darker side and it's not really I don't know for everybody. I you know, that's where the problem lies. I think it's not the number of shades It's the range uh, Let me know what you think, but I I, I love this once I use it up though, I won't buy it again and I can't recommend it, just, I just feel funny about it. <clears throat> this though, uh, this is a heartbreaking one. This is the number seven Lift Illuminate Serum Concealer. I freaking love this concealer. I love it. So this is the shade Light. There's only four shades of this as well and all of them look like this and I I think that's crazy because they do a really great job with their foundation shades. They have a nice range of colors, um, a nice range of undertones. They have a bunch of different types uh, like for different skin types and preferences but the range of shades is pretty good with their foundations. Um, I don't even know if they have other concealers. I feel like this is the only one so I thought that was crazy that they only put out four shades and their only concealer. But it's amazing. I have nothing bad to say about it. I used it all last year. Um, it was in my favorites for the year before that. I used it all last year. I purchased it a bunch of times. This one's almost empty. I think I have one more of these or this is my last one. I'm not sure. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it. Coverage is great. It's skin-like, but it still covers. You could use it as a foundation. I put it on my like middle of my face here and blend it out. I love it. Wears great. Doesn't settle into your lines. It's fantastic. It's a great formula and I wish they would do more shades. Um, I did send them a, a message on Instagram asking, but they uh, didn't reply. But anyway, this is amazing, but I'm not going to buy it again. I don't, I can't, I can't, I can't do it because I just feel weird even buying it, let alone showing it in videos, talking about it and all that kind of stuff. And like I said, I don't expect every single brand, like there's other foundations I use all the time that might not have the biggest, most extensive shade range, but I feel like when they like on purpose only do four shades it's like what are you doing what are you doing number seven I love you but this they missed the mark with the shade range but the product is freaking amazing 
Ugh, but I'm not gonna buy it again. I'm putting it out there, not gonna repurchase. Although I think I might have one more, or this is my last one. Um, the next thing, this is something I freaking love. I love this. I did a video on this. I think it's my most watched video. I've purchased it more times than I can remember. It's the Dove Exfoliating Body Polish. I love this stuff. You know what it looks like, maybe if it focuses. Anyway, is it gonna? Is it gonna? There we go. It's fantastic. So make sure it focuses back. It's this scrub here. It has the best scent. This is the macadamia uh, and rice milk exfoliating body polish. It doesn't come with a seal over it though, which is kind of weird. You just unscrew it and then it's open. Uh, so you never know if someone messed with it in the store, but usually it comes pretty like flat on top so you could tell someone stuck their finger in it. Anyway, this stuff is great. It feels like a microdermabrasion type of body scrub. It's like super scrubby, but not scratchy. It's really hardcore and I freaking love it. It's, it's amazing. But then one day I was reading the ingredients. You know, when you do, you just stand in the shower and read all your products. I saw this ingredient called sodium telloate and I was like, that seems like a really old kind of ingredient to use in products anymore. And I thought that was really weird. Uh, look up sodium telloate if you wanna know what it is. It's a product I feel really gross using. And in fact, the bottle, the container that I had in the shower when I read that, I felt sick. And I was like, I can't finish it. I didn't, I didn't continue using it. I let it go in my empties. But I found two more of these in my room because when I see something on sale, I'm like, I'm gonna end up using it eventually. So I bought two more of them. This is the last one. I'm gonna finish it and I'm not gonna purchase it again. I just feel really funny using it. It's an amazing product and if you love body scrub and you love something that's gonna scrub and make you feel smooth and silky and soft, this is amazing. It's amazing. But I personally just feel kind of gross using it and I can't repurchase it. And that's an ingredient too that I I didn't know was still used in stuff, so I've never read the ingredients on my skincare products. And I'm aware too that other skincare has animal derived ingredients in it, but I also find it weird that Dove, on some of their stuff, they say cruelty free. And I don't know, I know they're like PETA certified cruelty free, which I don't think means anything, but they're saying cruelty free, but they're, and they also say not tested on animals, but they're using animal parts in the product. I think that's so weird. So, I don't know, Dove, I, I don't know about you anymore, but yeah, I can't purchase this anymore. And I thought about that the other day. What was I looking at? Um, oh, it was a bar of soap from, uh, what the heck was the brand name? Yar yeah, Yardly. I was gonna say Yarrow for some reason. Yardly, I opened up a Yardly soap yesterday because I have these bar soaps. I wash my sponge every day in the morning. I opened up a new soap and I was reading the ingredients on the box and I was like, the first ingredient was sodium telloate. And I was like, what? That's so weird. And they, they say on it, not tested on animals, but it has animal parts in it. it. That's freaking weird to me, I don't know. Anyway, let's move on. The next product I love but won't repurchase are these little elf glitters. So these are in my Shop My Stash for February. What the heck is going on? Um, it's fine, there you go. I really, really like these a lot, but these are one of those things that I feel are good while you have them, but I don't know if they're worth buying all the time. And I've enjoyed using these a lot, if you don't know what they are. They're a little, little, tiny little glitter thing, and it's really fun to like glitter up your eyes. I love using these like on the inner corner part of my eyelid, and they're really cool, they're really pretty, but I don't know if I'm gonna miss them once they're gone. And these are something also that I kind of forget that I even have, so, once I run out, I'm not gonna repurchase them, but I do like these, I think they're fun, they work, um, and I, I've enjoyed them a lot, but I'm not gonna buy them again. Uh, same with these eyeshadows from L'Oreal. I have such a hard time letting go of any of these, because I have one, actually it's right here, called Burst Into Bloom. This is one that's in my Shop My Stash now for February, and it's not what it used to be. I've had this for so long. But I told myself, I was like, once I use this all month, if it doesn't work for me and it's not the same pigmentation, I'm just gonna go buy it again because I have to have it. But I don't, I don't have to have this. I have so many other eyeshadows in this color and stuff like that. But these eyeshadows specifically from L'Oreal, I feel like you're supposed to have them. 
and I, I don't know, I've collected all of them over the years. I have every single shade, the limited edition ones and everything. But every little while I find myself letting go of one more because the formula, it's not going to last forever. It's not going to be the same pigmentation. It's not going to have the same wear time. But I find myself letting go of them and then wanting to buy it again. Like, oh, but I can let go of this today because it's dried up or it's ugly and I'm going to go buy it tomorrow. But I know I'm not going to use it every single day. Like some of these I probably didn't use all year last year. I have the shade here called Bronze Taupe. This is one of the most beautiful ones as well as Liquid Diamond. Bronze Taupe I think is one of the ones that like would work on everybody. It's such a beautiful shade. And it's a shade that I'm like, I'm hoping this one never ever runs out of pigmentation or gets like the formula changes over time. So far it has it and I've had it for years. Um, and I, I love this one a lot. Never use it. But that's a video idea right there, right? Products I love but never use. I actually think I did this for Drugstore Month the first time, now that it's coming to me. I feel like I've done a video like that already. If I find it, I'll link it down below. Products I love, love, but never use. And then Burst Into Bloom, it's not what it was. And I feel like I'm gonna let this go at the end of the month. I'm not gonna buy it again as much as I want to because I just want to have all of these little things. But there's the shade, it's not, like even the swatch isn't what it used to be. It doesn't work on the eyes as well. It doesn't blend, but I'm not gonna buy them again. I'm not gonna repurchase. I'm just gonna appreciate them, appreciate the time I had with them and let them go. Anyway, that is it. I know I went on a tangent on a couple of these things, but let me know some products that you love, but you won't repurchase. Or if you even have stuff like that, let me know what you think about the products I talked about today. And I'll see you later in another video. Goodbye.